Hello and welcome to the Hypnosis Academy. Today I'm talking about perceptual positions. And what are they? Well, I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So you know the secret of therapy, the whole secret, and I've told you this before, but I'm gonna say it again, because it's so important. The whole secret of therapy is for you to help your client get a new perspective on an old thing. That's it. As soon as the perspective of the person changes, the problem disappears. Or the problem of that, that particular problem changes and it becomes something else. How you change the perspective of the client, well, that's another story. The more tools you've got in your bag, the more you can find ways of doing that. But there is an actual process of helping people to get new perspectives on, on old things. And it's called perceptual positions. So how do you do it? Well, what you do is this. You get somebody to imagine the problem. Now, people can do that really nicely. You know, you've got a problem. Can you just imagine it? What do you say? Well, yeah, yeah, this. Oh my God, it makes me feel bad. Yeah. So you get them to see the problem, imagine it, feel it, hear it. And then what you do is this: you say to them, right now, what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to sit in this chair or stand. It doesn't really matter. Stand over here, and I want you to observe yourself observing the problem okay so what they do is they take themselves to another place and they're looking at themselves in the mind's eye obviously you've got to use your imagination looking at themselves looking at the problem okay and you say what are you aware of here now what happens is you now you're going into third person so you're observing yourself observing the problem by the way this is also a phobia cure um, and so people say, well, actually, you know, when I'm here, it's like, I don't know, I feel distant from it or something's changed. And then you say, right, so now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to step here and observe that person observing yourself, observing the problem. And so they start looking at themselves, looking at themselves, looking at the problem. So you start removing them from the problem, you distance them from the problem. Every time that they change the perspective, they get a new perspective on that same issue. And you can do it as many times as you like. You can get them to start to be certain people. Now, I want you to look, I want you to be your brother-in-law, right? Just imagine there's, there's an issue. And I want your brother-in-law to observe you observing the problem. Right? So you can get people, get them to play the role of somebody else observing. If anyone's done chair therapy, this is what we do. We get the person to become the person who they have the problem with. Changes the perspective completely. And so if you understand that principle, then you can start to use it in your language to get people out of where they are into a new perspective. That's why we say to people, I want you to look at it this way. Look at it like this. What you're doing. Look, look what I'm doing with them. Look what we do with our hand. Look at it like this. I'm giving you a new perspective. I'm putting you in a different place looking at something. Okay? So however you choose to do that, and, and trust me that every single therapy is giving somebody a new perspective. Okay? Everything that we do, that's the whole point of it. I'm going to help you to think of this in a different way. But you can actually do, you know, the manual way is getting them to move. If you're going to do it and you're with your client, get them to move physically into different places and remember where each place is and they can keep going into those places and getting the new perspectives. Okay? It's very powerful, especially the people who are involved in the problem. If you put them into, get them to stand in their shoes and watch the problem and see Imagine, there's the problem, so you watch it, then you become the boss, let's say if it was a problem with your boss, you become the boss watching the problem. Then you become the boss watching you watching the problem. All of these things, what happens is it takes the sting, it's like it's a poisonous memory, 
But when you've got different perspectives, the poison drains out of it. And then it's just a memory. And then once the emotion's out of the memory, then you can start to learn from it, right? If you want a bigger picture, what you're doing is you're helping people to go through the loss process and getting them into acceptance and perhaps forgiveness, yeah? But that's all that you're doing. Look at it this way, yeah? Why don't you think about it like this? New perspective. That's it. Secret of therapy. Do that and manually drag people into other places and get them to look at things. And if you're doing it on a screen, by the way, on Zoom, get them to bring another chair. I do that quite often. Right, I want you to switch chairs. In this chair, you are whatever. Even just changing chairs can be significant in the way that people feel. Bizarre. But true. True, I do a nice process getting people to investigate the difference between I, me, and myself. And I get them to sit in three different chairs. And each time they do, they start investigating and understanding what it means to be I and what it means to be me. And when they start, after you've done it a little while, they start anchoring the feelings. And every time they shift, they really feel the difference. It's called anchoring. And that's what you're doing with perceptual positions. You're anchoring different feelings into different places. So. Give it a go, have a think about it, but keep the principle in mind so everything that you do, be aware of when you're giving somebody a new perspective on an old issue. That's how you help them, that's how they heal. All right, I hope that's helpful. I love you all, I'll see you all soon, bye-bye.